The Common Cold The common cold is a viral infection of your respiratory tract, especially the upper parts such as your nose and throat. It is common. There are estimated 1 billion colds each year in the United States. Most people can normally expect to have a few colds every year. So what causes a cold? The common cold is caused by viruses. About 100 to 200 different types of viruses are implicated. The most common is the rhinovirus family. It is thought that it takes only a small dose of a virus to cause a cold, such as 1 to 30 virus particles. The virus usually enters through your nose, mouth, or eyes. It infects the cell by getting into a living cell and replicating there. The infected cell eventually dies and releases virus particles. These particles in turn infect other cells. So are colds contagious? Yes, they are contagious. People are usually most contagious for the first two to three days of a cold. A cold is usually not contagious after the first week. Cold viruses are spread through tiny air droplets that are released when a sick person sneezes, coughs, or blows his or her nose. You can get the virus directly from the air, or you can touch the surface where the air droplets are deposited. What are the risk factors? Your state of health. Your working immune system usually can fight off the cold viruses and protect you from getting a cold. However, when your immune system gets weaker, virus particles become more capable of infecting the cells. Thus, fighting off the cold is an ongoing battle between your immune system and the virus particles. Another risk factor is the environment. Virus particles are normally present in the environment. They are more concentrated indoors, especially in the winter or rainy days. Virus particles are also abundant in closed areas where there are people who have the cold and who might sneeze and cough into the air. What are the common symptoms? The common cold by itself is not a serious disease. However, you can feel quite miserable. Symptoms are usually caused by your body's response to the irritation, specifically the inflammatory response launched by your immune system. Symptoms appear about one to three days, sometimes up to a week, after your exposure to a cold-causing virus. The symptoms tend to vary, but usually include the following. A sore or itchy throat, a runny or stuffy nose, sneezing, coughing, watery eyes, usually no fever or just a slight fever, mild fatigue or a mild headache. As the cold runs its course for one to two weeks, the discharge from the nose may become thicker, with a yellowish or greenish color. Do not panic. It is quite normal. So how do we distinguish a cold from the flu or hay fever? As you can see, some of the symptoms overlap with those of the flu or hay fever. So how do you distinguish one from the other? When you have the common cold, you usually don't have a fever. And even if you do, it's very slight. You also usually have only a slight fatigue that lasts for a few days, and you don't experience physical pain. However, when you have the flu, you experience a high fever of about 100 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also experience extreme fatigue that can last for weeks and intense muscle aches and soreness. If you want to know for sure, go to your doctor and have a test done, such as with a throat swab, to identify if the viruses are cold-causing or flu-causing. Now to differentiate between the common cold and hay fever. There is usually no fever or the feeling of fatigue associated with hay fever. And unlike with the common cold, if you have the hay fever, you experience itchiness around your eyes. Essentially, the circumstances that cause the symptoms of your sickness and when the symptoms occur can help you distinguish between the common cold and hay fever.